I am encouraging the scholars of this country, and mashallah, we have lots of scholars in the UK, you guys need to go to the Balkans, that's where we need help. They're similar, that they've been there for 150, 200 years, 300 years in some cases, and they need a lot of help. Montenegro, Albania, there's some work going on, alhamdulillah, people are focused on Albania, right? Still needs a lot of help. Bosnia, some people are focusing on there, but there's parts of Croatia, Montenegro, mashallah, out of all of these places, the most developed that I saw was Serbia. Can you believe it? At least the Muslim area in Serbia. I was shocked to even be going to Serbia because you hear of Serbs as aggressors and so on. And mashallah, we went into the Sanjak area of Serbia, which was the Ottoman area before. And mashallah, lots of ulama, they were studying in different places and they seemed to have something going on compared to the other countries. It was quite amazing how Allah allows the deen to thrive in places where that have greater aggression because the Serbs are causing problems in Bosnia and other countries and they've caused major problems in Kosovo. Kosovo is another place to work and they're just willing to let people come and work because everybody goes down there but with their own motives and things. So the Kosovo and the Imam was saying we need people to come and you can, you know, there's a lot you can do. So that's what the ulama who are listening to this, you really want to go and do something? You want to go there, it's not easy. South Africans are actually sending ulama to South America, all the way from South Africa to countries like Chile, Venezuela, Brazil, and they're sponsoring these ulama to go and do the work down there. It's not easy, but if you want to make something and you want to leave behind a massive legacy, those are the places for it. In England, ulama find it like, what should I do? There's no place in maktabs as a teacher. There's no masjid that can take me as an imam, right? Don't go somewhere else. The world is waiting for you. That's what the Sahaba did. Allah make it easy.